everybody and here we are at 7am yet again on this Thursday morning. It's a bit of a bleak, grey, miserable Thursday morning here in the UK and the energy again is a bit... Oh. So <laughs> let's see if we can do something about that and lift our spirits and boost ourselves up. If it's nice and sunny and bright and beautiful where you are then that's absolutely fantastic, wonderful, lovely ride with that energy. If it's not then we'll see if we can just boost things up. Right, so Time to get started. Turn my foot 45 degrees to the corner. Place your other foot on the floor and just rock back and forth. And swap to the other side. And then just change, pick up your ankle, shake off the foot. Swap to the other side. And then pick up the knee and circle your foot. So you pick your knee up as high as you can, as high as you're comfortable with. Back the other way. Swap to the other side. Back the other way. And change feet together. Circle your knees. the way come up turn out the toes turn out the heels and circling the hips back the other way Chain circling the shoulders. Get back the other way. change. So just let yourself settle down through the feet. So we're creating our alignments to start with, getting ourselves standing upright comfortably. Soften the feet, so the toes just spread out onto the floor. Softening the ankles, Softening your knees, looking for any resistance down through the legs and just see if you can let that go so you're not twisting or turning down through the knee, just allow it to just stand comfortably over the ankles. And then softening your hips, letting the muscles go all around the hip joints, letting the joint open. Tucking the tailbone under, so you're sitting down on a stool. Shoulders rest comfortably over the hips, so you're creating the stretch, elongating the spine, and then pull the chin back to empty the neck, and get that feeling as though you're being suspended from the ceiling. All the bones floating in space, 
and then let all the soft tissue release. All the muscles relax. Opening the shoulder joints. Softening the upper arms. Allow the elbows to open. Soften the forearms. Opening the wrists. Softening the palms. Let the hands become heavy and empty. Turn your attention to your breathing. Just allow your breathing to sink into the body. Opening up the abdominal wall as you breathe in. Letting the abdominal wall come back in as you breathe out. Softening down through the chest, the abdomen, into the belly. Soften the mind. Let the mind sink down as though you're pouring water down into a hole. Sinking down to the belly, find that point of your centre. Breathing in, bring the hands up the centre line. Turn over the palms, take the hands up over the head. And breathe out, surfing the hands down. And then the hands come up. Sitting back against the spine, tucking the tailbone under, allowing the legs to soften. Keep going. Keeping your shoulders released. Arms soft.
One more. And in, the hands come up to the chest. Turn the palms to the floor, breathe out, let the hands float down and come to rest by the sides. And then again, reconnect with your feet, softening the feet, softening the ankles, softening the knees. In the hips. Let the tailbone tuck under as though you're sitting down on a stool. Shoulders come back to rest comfortably over the hips. Chin pull back slightly to create the stretch in the upper, in the upper spine and the neck. Empty the neck and then softening the shoulders. Let the arms hang down, opening up through the elbows and the wrists into the hands. Soften across the shoulder blades, releasing the muscles down either side of the spine. Make sure the tailbone's tucked under so you can empty the belly. Soften the chest. Breathe in, bring the hands up to the centre. Breathe out, turn left palm up, right palm down. Breathe in, turn the palms, come back to centre. And breathe out, swap the hands over. Again, softening the mind as you breathe, moving the hands. Let the breathing sink deeper into the belly. Softening, trickle down into the belly. Nothing forced. Don't try and make anything happen. back against the spine. Keeping the weight evenly spaced. One more. The 
hands back at the chest. Breathing out, push the hands down and let them come to rest by the sides. Again, reconnecting with your feet, softening the ankles, softening the knees, softening the hips. And the tailbone tuck under as though you're sitting down on a bar stool. Shoulders resting comfortably over the hips. Chin pulled back slightly to create the stretch in the neck and the spine. And all the bones floating in space, let the muscles release and sink down. Just breathing into the belly. Breathing slow becomes smoother and deeper. The mind soften and sink into the body, down towards the belly. But nothing's forced. And then turn the waist to bring the shoulders round and back. So we're rotating the body around the spine from the waist, softening the legs so that they can act like pistons or shock absorbers. You're not twisting, talking down through the knee and into the ankle. You're turning and allowing the knee to move in the plane that it wants to move in back and forth. Don't take your knees any further than the end of the toes. And just nice and gentle, just start to let the arms relax and swing. So the arms become like a piece of rope and then momentum is picked up from the waist. So the waist turning moves the shoulders, which transfers motion down into the arms. Arms totally released, hands are heavy like a weight on the end of a piece of rope. And then just sitting back against the spine, you can speed the motion up a little bit. Making sure your tailbone stays tucked under so you're still sitting down. Release the muscles across the shoulder blades and down the spine. Sitting back against the spine. And just feel the shape of the movement. How the waist turns and the shoulders turn in line with the waist, keeping in line with the hips how the legs when they're soft can transfer weight from one side to the other and you're not actually really moving. They're acting like pistons. How the arms can just swing comfortably without any force whatsoever. Just like a piece of rope and the hands are weight on the end. And how everything can rotate against and around the spine from your center. I'm going to change the motion of the arms slightly so as you turn let the arms swing out to the side so one swings in front one behind again the momentum is transferred from the waist turning really opening up the shoulder joints release the shoulders softening biceps triceps Opening up the elbow joints. Softening the forearms. Opening the wrists. Softening the hands. Time you catch yourself chasing a thought, just allow the mind to soften again. 
let the thought go and sink back down into the belly. Really releasing the shoulders, tucking the tailbone under, softening the feet, the ankles, the knees, the hips, tucking the tailbone under, pulling the shoulders back to rest comfortably over the hips, and the chin pulls back slightly to create the stretch in the spine. Just become aware of your motion again. Are the arms swinging because the waist is turning or are you flapping your arms? If you're flapping your arms, relax the arms more and just let the waist carry the hands round. So the waist transfers momentum into the shoulders and out through into the fingertips. Change, just let the hands come to rest by the sides. Again, softening the feet, the ankles, knees, the hips, tailbone tucks under, shoulders resting comfortably over the hips, pull the chin back slightly to create the stretch. And then just allow all the muscles just to chill. Not too relaxed because you don't want to fall over and collapse on the floor. There's just enough dynamic tension to hold you upright so the bones are floating in space. And breathing in, palms to the floor, bring the hands forward. Drop the fingertips, arms to shoulder height, then breathe out, drop the elbows, drop the wrists and down. Breathing in, the hands float forward, sitting back against the spine so you don't lean. And then breathing out, hands float down. Let the breathing slow into the belly. Softening the mind, let the mind sink down to the center. down through the legs. Quite evenly spaced. Shoulders released, elbows open, wrists soft, hands empty.
turn the fingertips to the right, just let the hands circle round. Left hand continues to circle down, holding the ball in centre, sitting back against the spine, shoulders neutral, arms released. Breathe in and breathe out. Just turn the waist to the right hand side. As you breathe in, swap the hands, return the waist back to centre. Breathing out, turn over the left. Breathing in, swapping the hands over. Return to centre. Centre. Return to centre. Well, we've got Elvis coming in today. Breathing out. And breathe in. I bet you're all humming that song now. Breathe out. <laughs> hands toes to the left. And breathe in. Square the waist to centre. Sitting back against the spine, allowing the mind to soften. Breathing into the belly, let the mind sink down into the belly. Tucking the tailbone under and softening down through the hips, the knees, the ankles, the feet. One more. And then just bring the hands up so both hands are at chest height. Breathe out, just let the hands float down and come to rest by the sides. Closing the hands over the belly. Left hand under right for men, right hand under left for ladies. Sinking down through the feet. Softening the ankles. Softening the knees. Softening the hips, let the tailbone tuck under. Shoulders come back to rest comfortably over the hips and then the chin pulls back to create the stretch in the spine. Breathing into the belly, let all the bones float in space and let the muscles relax. Softening the mind, let the mind trickle down to the center. To your belly.
and then bring the hands up. We've got the fingers at the ends of the arms, keeping the elbows sunk, shoulders released, sitting back against the spine. the tailbone under and allowing yourself just to breathe into the belly. And bring the hands down, circle the hands at the ends of the arms. Change, breathing in, come up onto the toes. Breathe out, let your body drop. Breathing in, come up. And breathe out. And keep going. And relax, give the body a shake, shake off the legs, the ankles, rotating the shoulders, and we're done. Thank you so much again for joining me this morning. If you could tag, share and like this video so we can get it out far and wide, that would be absolutely fantastic. Any questions you might have or any comments or anything you would like to share about your experiences doing the Qigong set, please post them in the comments below. That would be fantastic. And I will be back at seven o'clock tomorrow morning for more of the same. For white dragons, red dragons and black dragons, there is the um, ongoing 20 day challenge. We're now on day four of the Sung Gung. That's over in the uh, Dragon Warriors Qigong group. And hopefully I'll see a few of you there. Take care and we'll see you in the morning.